and Mississippi. And I uh, join them uh, to once again call attention to the disastrous effect of President Biden's uh, price hikes and his policies. Americans are facing soaring inflation that has not been seen in generations. The price increases families are seeing at the grocery store, at the pump, in monthly electric bills, and for basic housing needs of far outpaced wage gains and left Americans struggling to make ends meet. The numbers speak for themselves in 2022. Annual average inflation reached 8%, the highest level in 40 years. And rather than working to solve the problem, the Biden administration seems set on making it worse. You don't need to look any further than your kitchen to find the latest example. 2022, the Food at Home Price Index, which measures grocery prices, rose 18.6%, 18.6%, reaching heights not seen since the Carter administration. This rise in food prices is directly related to increases in the cost of production faced by our hardworking farmers and ranchers. These increases are driven by the Biden administration's continued regulatory overreach, failure to empower our domestic energy producers, and failed economic policies. Our producers are facing increased prices for diesel fuel, for fertilizer, and for crop protection, production products, and more. New regulations from this administration threaten to drive up their cost of production even further. Good evening, friends. I have amazing news to share with you this Friday. There's a new fourth stimulus check update, and President Biden is expected to make a very important announcement on the upcoming debt ceiling deadline. This announcement may affect 2023 stimulus checks for all Americans, including who exactly can expect to receive another stimulus payment this year. My friends, please make sure that you watch until the end of this video to hear about all of these changes. Also, to say thank you and for being part of this community, I will be announcing two winners today for the $75 Walmart gift card giveaway. If you'd like to enter the giveaway, my friends, all you have to do is click and like several of my videos and then comment below the keyword of each video that you watch. The more videos that you comment on, the greater your chances, friends, of winning the giveaways. So it's not surprising it resulted in the country officially entering a state of emergency. However, despite the fact that the crisis is not completely over, life has largely returned back to normal for most Americans. As the threat of the crisis has waned, the country remained officially in the state of emergency in 2020. However, sadly, that will soon come to an end. President Biden recently announced that the National Public Health Emergency Declaration would be extended one more time until May 11, 2023, but would terminate it soon after that. This important announcement could affect the likelihood that you will get another stimulus check deposited into your bank account. So when the crisis first hit full force in the United States, This prompted bipartisan action to offer financial help to the public during lockdowns. In fact, both the first and second stimulus checks were supported by lawmakers on both sides of the aisle. After President Biden took office, Republicans largely stopped supporting the idea of more financial relief. Stimulus relief has been authorized during the recessions in the past. So if economic conditions worsen here in the U.S., it is possible a bipartisan bill could be passed to provide more financial help. This would not be a crisis-related payment, but would instead be designed to help jumpstart a poor economy if lawmakers believe this extra bit of help is necessary to keep the American economy afloat. Our government started sending stimulus payments of up to $1,200, to eligible tax-paying adults in April 2020, followed by a second round of up to $600. Almost immediately following the second round of stimulus checks, President Biden came into office 
and launch his American Rescue Plan that provided eligible taxpayers a check worth up to $1,400. A recent survey shows that 62% of Americans are in favor of more stimulus or inflation relief checks in 2023. When looking at the age breakdown, adults under 54 are more in favor of the government relief checks than older Americans. Due to higher than average inflation rates this year, many Americans have had to cut back on their spending or are experiencing financial insecurity. While the federal government is still working on federal relief programs, many states took it upon themselves to provide some monetary aid to their residents. Some of these states include states like California, Maine, New Mexico, Hawaii, and South Carolina. Today, the U.S. job growth blew past expectations, and President Biden quickly jumped on the news. In a recent speech from the White House this morning, the president called the report strikingly good news, claiming his two years in office represent the strongest two years of job growth in history. Friday's numbers showed a growth of 517,000 jobs in January and a 3.4% unemployment rate. This shocked observers who had expected growth of 188,000 jobs and a rate of 3.6%. While some experts advise caution, given that January data can often be unpredictable due to seasonal noise, the news was undoubtedly good for Biden and his fellow Democrats who sought to link the job gains to economic policy from Washington, D.C. over the last two years. President Biden also stated, Put simply, I would argue that our economic plan is working. These critics and cynics are wrong. Also, in Friday's report, average hourly wages rose by 0.3% for the month and 4.4% on an annual basis. The labor force participation rate also went up slightly to 62.4%, with many economists calling the development positive. During an interview, Secretary of Labor Marty Walsh said he wanted to get the participation rate even higher. But Republicans, House Ways and Means Committee Chairman Jason Smith seized upon the labor force participation numbers in his own statement, calling them still disappointingly below pre-crisis levels and arguing that Biden's economic policies and high spending were in fact weighing down the economy. But one warning sign came today. As stocks sank shortly after the report's release on the fears that the robust labor picture could push the Federal Reserve to keep its aggressive interest rate hiking campaign going in the next coming months. Well, my beautiful and most amazing friends, that is the end of my daily stimulus update video for today. My friends, thank you so very, very much for joining me here and for being part of this community. In a video later today, dear friends, I'll be announcing two winners for the $75 Walmart gift card giveaway. If you'd like to enter, all you have to do, friends, is click and like several of my videos and then comment below the keyword of each video that you watch. The more videos that you comment on, friends, the greater your chances of winning the weekly giveaways. Thank you and have a very wonderful and very blessed Friday.